Moving on to board member committee comments. Member Alman, did you attend any committees? I on our did. Board? Thank you. Uh, business advisory board. Um, one thing for Ms. Schaffner to note, the outgoing chair, Mr. Brown, is very interested in red bags. Oh. For the entire uh, business advisory board, he'd like to start a competition. I don't know how many. Uh, Mr. Rinaldi will let you know that number. Um, we talked about college career re resources yeah. and um, how we do the internship fair for the students to do something similar for college and career. Um, they also discussed the access to students to offer them jobs as well as internships. So specifically the seniors is what they were talking about. And we went to Oviedo High School for the Bioscience Technology Program, which caused a great delay in the meeting because half of the group stayed and couldn't leave the classroom. They were having such a great time. Um, Mr. Brown, again, who was the outgoing chair, he works for Wigginton Fire Systems, and he spoke at the Casper Chamber about HR tips. It was very interesting, and I shared the information with Mr. Carnes. Casper Chamber also just had their Promoting Prosperity uh, scholarship reception, which many of you were there, and gave seven $1,000 scholarships out to students, uh, Lake Howell, Lyman High School, and Warner Springs High School, so that was very um, well received. And Central Florida Public School Boards Coalition, Representative Broder was there speaking yesterday. Um, he talked about predicting cuts in healthcare as opposed to cuts in education. And then all the districts shared best practices on their career tech ed and exceptional student education programs. And that's my report. Thank you so much. Member Schaffner. Um, yes, a couple of things, major events is actually uh, I serve on the foundation board, and they had their big uh, golf tournament yesterday. Uh, very successful, wonderful day. Gosh, the weather was gorgeous. And we had a full uh, two flights. So I think we've made a lot of money on that, but all this goes back into the programs that are supported through the foundation. That was a great event, and several of you were there. Thank you for being there. Um, we, had, we always have wonderful support from our business community for that. And then the uh, Seminole County Regional Chamber had their uh, fun run, or their run, uh, two weeks ago on mm -hmm. Sunday. Sunday. It was a little chillier there than it was yesterday at the golf tournament. But it was a great day for running, and we had a 5K and a 15K. Again, they had over 1,000 runners, and uh, that's just going to continue to grow. So we're very happy with the way that's going, and again, that's a, that's a uh, fundraiser for the chamber. Thank you. Member Bauer. Um, yes, I had a Calno meeting. Um, just to let you know, um, the, the membership of Calno has voted to include the Seminole Soil and Water Conservation District as a member. Uh, whether they will be a voting member depends on our attorney's interpretation of statute, which I don't think allows them to be a voting member, but we'll see. Thank you. Vice Chairman Lockhart. I don't think statute really allows for Calno anymore, but that's a whole other discussion. We've had that. <laughs> yes. You might want to bring that up when you have your attorney look over the paperwork. Uh, okay. So, um, and because I was not here for the last meeting, and I want to thank you all so much um, for being so gracious and sending so many wonderful notes and um, warm thoughts. Really, um, our staff um, sent me some very sweet notes on the um, passing of my father-in-law very unexpectedly, and that's why I wasn't here at our last board meeting, and so I, I'm sorry I wasn't here, but I appreciate everyone very much your support. It's been a very, um, very unexpected trying time for our family, so thank you. Um, I participated in the Florida uh, Hospital Active Kids Summit, which was um, interesting down at um, Florida Hospital South in Orlando. Um, it was actually spearheaded uh, by the First Lady Michelle Obama's group. Um, didn't know there that when I said I would go, but I wound up down there, and there was actually a lot of very good discussion. Um, the folks from the health department were there. They at that time they were happy to see me. They might not be happy to see me in the future at, at other events, but we had a really great opportunity to hear some of the different things that are going on um, in school districts around the state. Um, to to encourage students to a more healthy, active lifestyle. Um, a lot of great resources were shared. Deb Cottle 
um, who is also probably not going to be speaking to me anymore, has left the building, and she was there, had a great time. Um, we, she's going to share, I think, with staff and then eventually um, with all of us the different um, ideas that she came away with and things that we can probably implement here. Um, good stuff. The, uh, let's see, I've participated in the RFPs for both life, uh, voluntary uh, benefits of life, dental, and vision. Um, all three of those were in the same week. They were uh, quite an interesting group of, of responses. Um, I think we came away with some very good um, options for our, for our employees, actually wound up being able to save our employees some money with um, a couple of the contracts were able to go back after best and final and come away with um, more for less, which doesn't happen very often, so that was a very good, and I think that we'll be having an update on that at our upcoming um, joint insurance work session, perhaps. Uh, participated in the Beha Positive Behavior Pathways Committee meeting at um, Lake Mary High School. Um, that is the old discipline committee, renamed, and uh, really excited about the direction that that's going, talking a lot less about um, the minutia and how do we deal with behavior after it happens and more talking about ways to uh, prevent the behavior in the first place, developing relationships in particular with um, faculty and staff members with our students. That's gonna be a great uh, group. Uh, Value Adjustment Board met, uh, that's the county, the school board, and a couple of uh, citizen representatives. Um, I'm not sure how much you all care about an update on the value adjustment board. It's, this, it's the same store, same song, different verse um, every year. Uh, people think their properties are being overvalued, they're overtaxed. We say, yeah, not so much, and then they appeal it and um, we go from there. So we're starting up a new year of that. Uh, our insurance committee met uh, just last week, I believe. Uh, Chad does a great job of chairing that committee. Um, all of Katie is um, our secretary again, and she does a wonderful job with the minutes, and I can have those forwarded to you all so you can see what the discussion was there. Um, still talking about wellness incentives, and um, I'm not quite sure when we're gonna stop talking about wellness incentives, but that seems to be the ongoing topic, trying to find things that will incent our employees in a in a meaningful way, um, which usually means financially, yes, cash money, uh, to, to participate in things that will help improve their health, which will hopefully then thereby lower our, our health costs. So those are the things that I have been up to. Great. Um, I represented this board on the Wellness Committee, and one of the newest offers that we can now offer our team is sport, Sports Authority is allowing all of our employees to just show up with their employee ID on any weekend and receive 20% off of any of their purchases oh, wow. and um, we are also reviewing the wellness incentives and that were presented to us at our last insurance work meeting we want to make sure that uh, we're making it meaningful but we have some good outcomes with that so we're really brainstorming and looking at best practices nationwide to try to duplicate that here locally and as far as the Sanford Chamber, we, they hosted the State of the Cities address that's always entertaining mm -hmm. with the West Volusia mayors and uh, mayors from Longwood and Sanford, very lively discussions, but I, I think it shows you that there really isn't a white picket fence between that's right. uh, counties, which we know because we work so well collaboratively through Central Florida School Boards Coalition. And they also are passionate about supporting our teachers in education, and they're doing book drives for our Sanford schools and hosted at Greenwoods Lakes an appreciation breakfast for our teachers there at a teacher's work day. So I'm proud of our positive relationships with them. So those are my committee reports. Can I ask about the Sports Authority? How, how are employees going to be notified of that? It was in the last at the core. Okay. Um, I read it on my phone the other day, but they're also with the next communications of many different wellness initiatives that will just be okay. one of many. So I think we're really trying to get the word out there to um, what are the partnerships can we do with local businesses or right. local activities or, you know, gyms to um, not have any more mm -hmm. March Madness with our Fitbit, but other ways that we can, you know, work together as a district and, and support each other. Yes. Ms. Beeman. I just received an, an email, uh, Madam Chairman, 
regarding the need for advice um, on one of our pending cases and wanted to, I've not had an opportunity to talk with Ms. Um, Moreno's, but wanted to uh, seek uh, permission to schedule an executive session in the DO case versus DO versus the school board of Spino County. It's a circuit court um, case in a manner that is um, already convenient to one of the other work sessions or board meetings. So I can get with Ms. Moreno's um, to, to actually schedule it, but wanted to uh, get permission and ask for it, um, advice regarding that, that matter. Board members, is that all right to have that meeting yes. scheduled? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, thank you so much. Go forth and schedule another meeting. <laughs> um, moving on to um, public comments, is there anyone who wishes to address the board at this time? Okay, any unfinished business, new business, or your superintendent's report, Dr. Griffin? We can go straight to superintendent's report, and we'll 